why is it important for people to pay attention to the, the so-called down-ballot races? Well, I mean, the, you know, it, it, when you start to think about politics in reality, it is local. And it's important to know what are the issues that are going to be coming around in January because, again, we start session again in January and we do budgets and we do policy and making sure that you have a connection with those people that are going to be making these policies is very important. And also making sure that you get your opinion. Thank you for coming out to vote. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and that you have an opportunity to express what your beliefs are. And that's one of the ways that we can communicate. Thank you for coming out to vote. Um, so, I mean, you know, to, to, to most people, they think only the city and then they think nationally. And they forget that much of their governing comes from the state. And it's important to be active in, in that process, not only to communicate with the legislators, but also to come up to Hartford because it's close enough for you to be part of the process and to, to actually see how bills get done and what are the issues and how the debate goes and what are the things that go into making those policies because a lot of them are collaborations, a lot of them are compromises, and the only way we can get a good compromise is if everybody participates at one point or another, whether it be out here, um, thank you for voting. Thank you. Thank you for coming out to vote. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so it's important to, that, that we all be part of our governing process. And at any point that you have a chance to touch it, it's important at that point. And, you know, when people do consider the down ballot race, when they do think about what's going on in Hartford as opposed to Washington, uh, Hartford is looking at some pretty serious challenges with the state budget and just with, you know, running a, a state this big and complex. You know, what do you say to folks who might feel a little bit intimidated or, or like they, how much change can one vote really make when you're talking about billion oh. dollar problems? Oh, well, first of all, um, you, you have to understand that like in the House, there are 151 votes. Those votes are all individual and those are all influenced by the people that, that contact them. Um, and every person should express what is important because how are we going to make sure that everything that we're doing is in, is in the importance and, the, and the, the, the forefront for the people that they are governing or that their constituents. Um, when we do budgets, budgets are a process of trying to figure out how do we best serve Connecticut and if we only have one side of a group of people that are expressing their needs. Cities and towns and suburban areas all represent different constituencies. And that's important that we make sure that we look at how we do these budgets and how we do our policy so that we, we it's a small state, but there are a lot of people, over three and a half million people here. So for us to make sure that we do the best for the largest population, I think it's critical. So everybody has a vote. And last thing, I heard you talking a little bit about this, um, but you've seen the excitement today. Yeah. Is, are you are you hearing that from a lot of people, seeing that as people oh, yeah. come out? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, the most wonderful thing was coming to my ward this morning to vote and to see the lines, to see the people. I mean, and it was, it was very nice because I saw children because kids are out of school. So I lo saw a lot of parents bringing their children in to, to see the, the process and, and, and become part of it. So it becomes a habit. This is something that, that is expected of you coming down as you, grow, as you get older. I shook many hands of kids that voted for the first time. And that was even more exciting because parents were very proud to bring their 18-year-olds up here for, for voting. So going here and then going downtown, I gave some people rides today to different wards and seeing all of the lines people said this is my responsibility and everybody this election is just too important for anybody to sleep in and to see that I'm, I'm, I'm so proud in New Haven right now I can't tell you it's, it's great we are participating we worried about it but our people did not let us down they're out there and they're voting well, that's wonderful we're here at James Hill House High School on a beautiful morning yeah. in New Haven and we'll uh, keep you updated throughout the day thank you